Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be repairing the horn on my 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. So the horn has been working intermittently, coming on and then going off. And the reason I noticed it wasn't working was when you lock the truck, the alarm beeps, the horn beeps, and it wasn't beeping. So uh, I realized something was wrong and then I tried the horn and the horn wasn't working. and it was going on in and out for a few weeks and then it just stopped altogether. So in this video, I'm gonna be fixing that. I'm just gonna show you how to get into the truck and where the horn is and all that stuff. So it'll answer all your questions and here we go. To do this job, all you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver, dielectric grease, a six inch crescent wrench or a 10 millimeter wrench, but it can only be like six inches long because there's not much room to get in there. And then I'm using a drill with a socket. It's a 10 millimeter socket. If you don't have the drill attachment for a socket, you just need to use a regular ratchet and you're gonna probably need an extension to get down for those bolts. As you see here, when I push, nothing happens. So to get to the horn, it's back behind the bumper here. So we have to pull off this cover and then the grill and the headlight. So to pull the cover off, there's these little tabs here. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 of them so we're going to pull all these out so to do this we're going to stick a flathead screwdriver in this little tab here see where there's like an indent they make a different tool to do this but this actually works really well too so you just stick that in there like that that'll pop up you just want to pop it up that far and then you grab that and the whole thing's going to come out sometimes that comes out that's fine we're going to put that back together but you want to get this part out and it looks like that so We'll just put that other little piece back in there. It's fine. It just slides right back in there. No big deal. So I want to pull all these out and then I'll show you how to take the cover off. All right, I've got all those little clips out. So all you're going to do is grab this cover and pull it straight up like that and then up and out. Now to pull the grill out, the next thing we're going to do is so there's four bolts right in the top here. One, two, three, four. They're all 10 millimeter. We're just going to pull those out. All right, now that those are out, there's a bunch of clips behind this. So you have to grab the grill and pull it straight out forwards and you'll release the clips and just work your way all the way down. There's clips in the middle and clips on the bottom. So once the middle ones are out, the bottom ones, and once it's free, you have to pull it up and out at the same time, like that. Now that the grill's out, we can see the horn. That's this little guy down here. So we got to pull the headlight out next and it's just one, two, three screws. All right, now that that's out, there's a little tab right here that's holding against the metal. It's keeping this from coming out. So you just need to put a little bit of pressure on this like that and pop that tab out like that. And then the light will come out. Now, I couldn't get the light out all the way because there's a clip in the back. So I just pulled it out straight forwards and kind of like wiggled it like that just kind of bent it out like that. And that's enough that I can get in there to work. Uh, there is a weather seal on the bottom here. So that is actually good. It's resting on the bumper. You're not going to scratch anything. All right, so now I got to get this little bolt off the top of the horn. So I got to get my crescent wrench in here and loosen it. There's not enough room. It's hitting something. So I'm going to turn it around just like that. There's just enough room to get like a half a turn. And then it's loose enough that you can do it with your finger to get it off the rest of the way. Now that that's off, I'm going to rotate this so you can see there's a little red tab right there. We have to pull that red tab up. So I couldn't do it with my finger. I had to get it with a flathead screwdriver, just pry that thing up. And then once that's up, there's actually a black tab behind it. And then once the red tab is up, there's a black tab right here that you have to push. You have to push that in to be able to take this clip off. All right, so I've already done this once. Um, and you can see here these little prongs that are inside the clip. They were a little bit corroded, so I used a tiny little file. Uh, if you have something, you can get in there to kind of scrape them off a little bit to help get some of the corrosion off, if you have corrosion on them. There should be if this isn't working. Uh, and then I just spread some dielectric grease in there. So that's why there, you can see the grease in there already. But this was like dry and corroded and kind of gross looking. I did actually use some air duster to spray it out first. So if you have any of this, you can spray it out. And then on the clip here, kind of it was the same thing. So all I'm going to do is put dielectric grease on that and then take the plug connection and like put it on and off and on and off and on and off and rub it in there a bunch. 
and then put some more dielectric grease on it, plug it back in and it should work. So to put it on, this is actually the little file that I used to file down the connector. Uh, and I'm just gonna put a little grease on that thing. And I'm just gonna use that to rub it on those little connectors. Okay, so I have the wire plug end and the horn plug both greased up. I'm gonna just stick that back together and we're gonna test it. All right, it worked. Now I just gotta push that red tab back in. That locks it in place. We're gonna remount that back onto the post there. All right, now that I've got it mounted on here and the clip's back on, I'm just gonna test the horn before I put this all back together. Because what happened last time was apparently when I put it back in, uh, something got jiggled loose and it wasn't working. So let's see. All right, it's still working, so hopefully we're good. Now we got to put the light back on, so that's just going to go in like this. Now, remember I was talking about the rubber down here, so we're just going to use a flathead screwdriver and push that rubber back in so that it goes behind the flap here. That's it. I'm going to put these three screws back in. And we're going to put the grill back in like this. We're just reversing the process now, so get it like that, and then we're going to push down. The clips are all along this bottom rail and the middle rail, so just push them in, you'll hear them snap. We're going to put these four screws back in the top. I just got to put this cover back on, so again, that latch is right there. Basically, just want to get that latch lined up with this hole, and then drop it forwards and it will just pop itself right in there. And we're gonna put all those clips back in. You just set them in the hole and then push the pins down. Now a little tip, when you put them back in, put that little lip, that little uh, groove there so it's facing forward. So if you have to take this out again, you can just snap your screwdriver in there. You don't have to put it in any weird angles or anything. Well, there we go. It's all back together. Let's double check, make sure it works before we close the hood. Yep, it works. So if you like this video, you got anything out of it, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And if you, I don't do more truck stuff, so don't subscribe for truck things, but I do plowing videos and I was just fixing the plow truck. So uh, that's all. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.